Hi, welcome back to BFP Insider. I'm your host Susan McCord and I'm here with the cast from Heart of Dance movie and Scarlett Brun is the writer and the lead in the movie and we have two beautiful musicians here who are also a part of the movie. So let's have a little chat with you and what, what are you doing actually in the movie? What's your part in it? Um, we're actually playing it at the prom scene, so we'll be, I don't know, like a live performance. High school Just, students? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay, and how did you meet? How did you get them to be a part of the movie? Um, Riley actually originally auditioned for the role of Jamie, um, and she... Uh, she had an absolutely fantastic audition tape. Robin, did you audition as well? Or? No. No. Yeah, so just Riley auditioned for the role of Jamie, and she had a fantastic audition tape, and we asked her to come in for a callback, but then you were away? Yeah, I couldn't make it to the And she couldn't make it to the callback, and um, we found you know, great people for the roles um, at the callback, but I... Um, I YouTube stalked them <laughs> and realized, oh my gosh, they're, them. they're amazing, they sing! <laughs> um, so I just, you know, um, I touched base again and was like, hey, you know, I, I saw that you guys sing on YouTube! Um, and I thought they were really great and all their music's original, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and it, yeah, it just kind of developed from there. So did you so actually cool. write them into the script then, once you found out that... Um, in the sense that, obviously you were going to have a band at We were going to have like a DJ or music or something at the prom, obviously, but I was like, no, let's have them. That's yeah. better. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, yeah. you're both very young girls, and when did you start, when did you start singing? About eight <laughs> years ago. We've been singing forever. Yeah, seems like forever. Yeah, I used to actually started with the ukulele. I played the ukulele for four years, and then I taught myself guitar, and that's when the songwriting came in. We originally wanted to be singers separately, but our parents kind of said, you guys should just do it together, you sound so good together, so then we were like, now gave up on that, now it's just, yeah, I'm stuck with her. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you see the nice expression on She loves me. <laughs> So, so Robin and Riley Gillespie are lovely musicians here. They have actually just recorded an album. And yes. is it released yet? Not yet, but it will be released very soon. Um, we're excited. We're just we're working on the artwork and like the just the last minute pictures. Graphic and design. Stuff. Yeah. So, That's fantastic. Yeah, so so um, probably just the best way to keep on top of that is check out their website at www.rnrsongs.com. Um, and there's a link actually to their website on the Heart of Dance website, which is www.heartofdancemovie. And they'll actually be performing at our fundraiser silent auction on Sunday, June 5th. And you can also purchase tickets to that uh, through our website, so you can see them live there. And they're a big allure. They're fantastic. You can actually watch them on YouTube. They're, they're fantastic. I went and actually creeped you out, too. <laughs> <laughs> Playing at the um, Merit Festival. Yeah, yeah. Merit Mountain in July, Festival. right? Oh yeah, yeah we're really I've excited. always wanted to play there too, so it's like a dream come true. Yeah, really? like, you'll be the two youngest ones there probably, and it's quite a cast that goes yeah. there. Quite a group of oh, yeah. uh, musicians that go there. It's oh yeah, there fun. is. I think Aaron Pachet singing there this year. Dirk's and Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, and somebody sang the uh, national anthem at a hockey game. I noticed. Okay. Now, with the, with the hockey NHL and playoffs right now, <laughs> is that something you'd like to do? If you Have you ever been asked to do it at one of the NHL games? No, I haven't, but um, I'd, that'd be so much fun. I'd probably be drooling over Kessler and uh, Mason Raymond, but, you know, that's just something I like I Mason to Raymond, too. He's so cute. 21. <laughs> <laughs> so let's oh, talk boy. about that there. How's that? Are you both single? I'm taken. Taken. They're okay with it. They don't have a problem with you being in the limelight, and because that that no. can be hard sometimes. On you know, when it's kind of fun though. Like after a, like a show, people will come up and talk to us. Some mostly guys, and then I'll just see my boyfriend standing in the back. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And now as sisters, you get along okay for the most part because you got to work together and do you live together yeah. still. Yes. Yeah. At home. Yeah, we live together. We well, I guess we have to. For a long time, if we're gonna pursue a career together, yeah. right? Well, that doesn't mean that it always works that way. You can still, tch, tch, and then uh, next day you get on stage yeah, and you're nice. You know what? Yeah, on stage, stage, we can't fight on stage. So, yeah, that's it's when we stage. get along. Yeah, exactly. No, you also did something for the Olympics last yes. year with the Vancouver 2010 Olympics. Yeah, we yeah. played at the Plaza of Nations. And it was the opening, opening ceremonies, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, opening ceremonies. And that must have been really. It was cool. That was pretty amazing, actually. Um, we had a band for that. 
So normally is it just the two of you that sing together? Yeah, mm -hmm. but lately we've been playing with bands, which is better. amazing. I think it's much more fun. It's it's, awesome. it's nice to have the option. The fact that you can sing alone. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. do you play the guitar as well? No. Well, I I can play like a couple chords, but I probably wouldn't ever play it for you guys. But <laughs> um, I, I'm starting to pick up the mandolin. Great instrument. Yeah, it's honestly so cool. I love it. It's not wow. as big as this thing. Now, how, what made you go to that? Well, I know. Actually, there was this guy in our band for the BC Summer Games, and he came over to, um, he was playing bass and the fiddle or something, but he brought his mandolin along too, <laughs> and we were sitting in the living room, and he brought it out, and I was like, Give me that! I was like, can, I, can you teach me a chord, yeah. please? Yeah. So I started playing like these chords, and he taught me, and he's like, wow, you're really good, and to the end, he gave me his mandolin. He just gave it to he us. He gave it to me. He's like, you're going to be so good. And is this so your boyfriend good. now? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Kind of old. Is that how you met him? Yeah, no. He, like, honestly, it was like, are you serious? Like, you just gave me this mandolin, and it's so much. It's a really so nice awesome. one, too. Yeah. Fender.